Hey guys, my name is Barry Force and welcome to Balance. This is level 13. Level 13 is the most difficult level in the game. It was added a little bit later after the release of the game and you can find it on Google or wherever you want very easily. So in this video I'm gonna show you how exactly you can beat this level. It took me about 200 tries I wanna say and about 20 hours to complete. So as you can see it's a very difficult level and I'm gonna share my experience and tell you exactly how to do it, very in depth. So you can treat this as a full walkthrough. So are we ready? Let's go! Welcome to Balance. As you can see we start with 1000, almost 1000 time. On the bottom left is the time, that's also the point we're gonna get at the end of the level. On the right you can see our lives. So first of all, this level is very you have to uh, guide balls throughout the whole level so as you can see push the first ball and I'm gonna have to wait for it to come to me I have to use it later to push another ball which is gonna help me proceed so first of all you don't need uh, to be very fast here there's lots of waiting here you have to be pretty fast of course right over here just got a ball don't let it drop and reach over here and it pushes this ball. Okay, proceeding on. The ball's gonna push you. And we're gonna go up this one. Go backwards, like that. And grab the checkpoint. If you don't grab the checkpoint, it's not gonna work. Because this bridge is not gonna come. The box is not gonna be here. The time bonus is not gonna be here. The fans are not gonna work at the end over here. So for this part you have to push all these bridges except the last one. If you push the last one it's not gonna work and the boat's gonna just fall over. Also I'm not gonna worry about the time bonuses, they are not necessary at all. You can complete it even without taking one time bonus. You don't need them at all. So I'm not gonna bother that much with them but I'm gonna get a few here and there. So here take your time, you, don't, you have a lot of time, don't need to hurry up a lot. Now you have to be pretty fast. There we go, you have to guide this box and it's gonna act like a bridge. Because you're gonna need this bow later. Also this level is on a slope, the whole level is on a slope. So if you don't use this bridge method, it, the bow is gonna just fall over. Okay, now we're gonna have to wait. Align yourself precisely and wait for the ball. There's lots of waiting involved in this video, so don't worry about that. It's a way to take a break. So be very fast here and continue. I'm gonna grab this time bonus, I don't need to, but I decided to grab it, why not? It's free time, so why not? Okay, be precise over here. This might happen, if it happens go forward a little bit, slowly, and it's gonna align the balls correctly. Because as you saw, the first ball was a little farther away from the last one, the back one. So this, this is the second hardest checkpoint. And this is where I died most of the time, actually not most of the time, most of the time I died at the very last checkpoint, but it's the second one where I died a lot. There we go. You have to be pretty fast here because you want to get, go through as many balls as you can. And also if you go left and right as I do, you get you go slightly faster, just slightly faster. Which I advise you to do because you have to be very fast in this checkpoint. There's no waiting in this checkpoint, we're just waiting at the end. But right now there's no waiting, you have to be extremely fast and extremely precise as you can see. I'm very precise with these boxes, you have to be pretty fast if you want to go in front of these balls, the balls are coming to you, and you have to be pretty fast if you want to avoid them, if you want to go in front of them. So here, this is the second hardest part in this challenge, in this level. As you can see, in just a little bit, there we go. Okay. This sack of potatoes or whatever have to be pushed in these little spaces. This is very difficult. This is where I died not most of the time, but 
almost all the time I died here. I have to be pretty precise. I wasn't very, you know, very good over here. This was not a very good attempt, but I did it. I did it. I have done better attempts than this one. But this is this is the completed challenge. I, I decided to leave this one. Okay. So here, there's lots of waiting involved. Okay, we have to wait a lot here. Yeah, there's lots of waiting. It depends really if you... If the balls are close to you. That was very fast, so we have to wait a lot here. Okay, so now push the balls downwards, one by one. What I suggest is pushing them on the side, like I do, as you can see. Okay, because if you push them... If they slow down a little bit, they're gonna uh, combine together, and it's gonna be pretty difficult. Okay, so this, I missed that. Okay, there we go. There's a little space there, you have to avoid that. Okay, so let's go. This one is not very difficult, but it's also very prone to going berserk, you know. You can screw it up very easily. You can grab the other time, but I don't wanna bother because I don't want to lose lives. Losing lives here is mm, eh, very bad. A bad thing because you don't have many lives at the end. And if you don't bother getting this one, for instance, or any other ones, you have like three lives left. Which is what you don't want. Especially for the last challenge. The last checkpoint is terrible. So terrible, in fact. I died, I died so many times there. Probably 150 of the times were me dying at the last checkpoint. It was terrible, guys. It was extremely terrible. So here, push this. And make sure you don't go back and hit the boss. If they hit the boss, they're gonna unalign their, themselves. And it's gonna be pretty bad. So as you can see, one side is in front of the other one. So you have to align them very precisely. They have to be next to each other. As you can see, I'm staying on the right one because I want them to align perfectly. Like that. See? Now they're aligned and I can move on to the left ones. And align them as well. Okay, so now I have to make a switch from the left ones to the right ones. And now they have, you have to be on them and go to the left. It's gonna push you and move you there. You have to do this three times. Also make sure the balls are aligned Perfectly. If they are not, if two of them are in front of the other two, you're, you're gonna fall. There's no question. So that's pretty difficult. And there we go. Last checkpoint commands. Oh man, the most difficult checkpoint. I died more than 150 times over here. I don't know, I haven't counted them, but I guess this is how much it took me. About 20 hours, I wanna say. About two weeks. Two weeks. This took me two weeks to complete. And before that I played a lot. In 2006, 2007, I don't know when, but I played a lot. This one back then, and for the past two weeks I have played a lot. Again. Also use this camera angle, because this camera angle is a lot more, a lot easier than the default one they're gonna give you here. So use this camera angle, it's way better. It's way better. There's no tips I can give you here, you just have to be precise. If you see the ball coming to you, press the down button. If it goes to the right, press the right button. There's no tips I can give you here, I'm sorry. So here, push yourself slightly and go upwards. Now, take a break over here, push the backwards button. And as soon as you fall, you press the forward button. If you just hold a forward button, it's not gonna work. Okay, so this is the most difficult part. This one right here. This one, right over here. It's terrible. What I suggest is pressing the left button, and as soon as you reach the, the end, press the up button. Also use this camera angle, because this one is a lot easier. Many people use the not correct one, and they fall a lot. So, use this one. It took me about 100 tries to figure out which one to use. Okay, there we go. 
and I almost fell here because I got scared. Very close, I'm very close. Guys, it is completed. Go, yes! Level 13 complete. Oh yeah. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you completed it too. There's not many walkthroughs of this game out there. And nobody actually teaches you how exactly to do it. You can see a video, but I'm explaining stuff, so I hope that helped you a lot. And this is the time they got. It's not much, but you know, I wasn't worried about the score. I just wanted to complete this level because it took me so many tries. And there we go. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you a lot. I'll see you in the next episode. As you can see, I'm spazzing out. I'm spazzing out. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to finally have this challenge level beat. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.